When you're with the breath, you're with the basic energy of life. So look at the quality of that energy, because that's the energy that will translate into how your body's functioning and how your mind is functioning. So make sure that this basis of energy is good. When the basis of energy is good, then you can build good things on it more easily. We work with the breath because the breath has a huge role in our emotions. We can think all kinds of things, but those things don't become emotions until they start getting into the body. And it's through the breath that they get into the body. And so if you can work with the breath, that means you can lessen the power of a lot of unskillful emotions. When greed comes, when anger comes, when jealousy comes, all the various unskillful emotions, they have to go through the breath to get into the body. So if you make sure that the breath is good, then you're setting up a, a protection. And you're also getting, making yourself sensitive to what's happening in the mind. Many times these things have their impact even before you're consciously aware of them. But if you're in tune with the breath, you notice, okay, something's up. Something's happening in the mind. And this way you can deal with it more quickly. And then because you can deal with it more quickly, it's more effective. You get it right at the beginning. And when you catch it in the beginning, you also begin to see all the fabrication that goes into it. That helps to develop a sense of dispassion towards a lot of things that otherwise you would feel very passionate about. You can begin to see that it's all a fraud. It's something the mind makes up to deceive itself. And when you see through the deceit, there's a, a lot of freedom that comes with that. So the breath is a really good place to be in order to catch the mind in action, especially the the defiled parts of the mind. We often don't like to think that there are defilements in the mind, but that's because we're siding with the defilements. It's like a person who's been rolling in dirt and then walks into a clean house and says, I don't see any dirt anywhere. Well, you're, you're the one dragging the dirt into the house. You're not looking at your own footprints. So here's a good way to catch the mind. Oh, this is what greed is like. This is what anger is like. And when you see what they really look like, you realize you don't want to identify with them. So make the most of this opportunity you have to be with the breath and develop this, the skill that allows you to stay with the breath continually and get very, very sensitive to all the subtleties of the breath energy in the body. Because you'll be dealing not only with the body, but also with the mind, which is our main quarry. But it's in this indirect way that you get to know the mind really well. <laughs>